Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jimmy Tiptoe here. Welcome to the channel. Normally, I'm reacting to Naruto, Death Note, Dragon Ball, Demon Slayer, but today we're doing something different. There's been plenty of requests in all of my videos over the past. Oh, we're getting oh, actually it's been or almost at a year now or we are at it a year of. Hey, Jimmy, you know, are you going to be reacting to any of the opening soundtracks, you know, of these animes? And finally, I got enough requests that, you know, it's time to do it. So over the past week, I've been taking in nominations. And then on Friday, I posted a poll where, hey, vote for which of these animes you want to react to. And, and oh, by an overwhelming amount, y'all selected Black Clover. Now, much like of the other animes that I've started reacting to, I haven't seen it. I've heard of it, but I've never seen any of Black Clover. So I'm excited. There is a whopping 13 openings for this show, which is crazy. But me just looking up Black Clover openings, there's like a lot of people talking great things about it. So I'm super excited to go through these. We'll be going in order. Here's the first opening. Here we go. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Oh, this rocks. Yo. That was fire. Oh, man, that. A lot of that music. When, when did this stuff come out? I don't have that here. Maybe I should have looked that up beforehand. So that was dope. I. You know, of course, it was in a language. I, you know, I, you know, it wasn't in English. However, listening to it and the music just definitely brings me back to like my high school years, uh, that type of soundtrack, you know, listening to that on almost a daily basis. I, I, I really love the drums and that it matched with the scenes pretty well. Yeah, that, that was really dope. I'm actually I'm like super, super excited to hear the rest of this. So that was just number one. Which is freaking awesome. Uh, let me go ahead. Let's find when's the second one. Episode 14. Of course, I, as I'm watching these scenes, like, of course, I, I, I don't even know who these characters are or any of that. So I, I do plan to react to this down the line. I'm watching a bunch of things right now, but I've heard some solid things about Black Clover in itself as a sh as a show. So I do plan to watch this. Uh, so I'm not really too concerned of like, you know, if there's any spoilers in here, because by the time I get to it, it I'm probably going to forget, at least as far as the scenes. Oh, I was waiting for a last hit right there. So that was really good. I think I like the first one more. However, what I really like the the transitions and how it worked, like you had like the first couple scenes there and then the music was playing a certain way and then it kind of transitioned into something different. And then the animations were kind of different, you know, through the second part. The transitions are really, really, really well done here, though. I but overall, if I have to compare the first soundtrack to the second one, soundtrack one so far is my favorite. So that was opening animation number two. Number three starts. Why is this a different opening animation two? This is weird. All right, let's go ahead. Let's jump up ahead. So. 20 on we'll, we'll we'll make sure that this is good oh 
Oh, you know what? I think it's different. It's impressive that they have this many openings for it. Okay, this one's starting off soft. That didn't take long. seems a little bit shorter. OK, so not my favorite song. Something I noticed with that one, it seemed like they showcased a lot more of the different characters abilities, which I really like to see. I didn't feel like we got that as much in the first couple ones. The opening with some of the characters just eating was a different take. Uh, but I kind of like the opening of it. You know, it kind of set up, you know, the smaller and, and then, you know, it, it picked up with more action as the music really started to get going. What I'm starting to find, and it, I think it might, I might end up getting into this show a lot sooner than what was intended, just because I, I don't know. I, I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. Uh, I haven't played all the games, but you know, any one that I did play, I really enjoyed. And I love, I'm assuming is the main character has that big old sword and he, the way he carries around reminds me of like cloud you know how cloud when he, you know he would set hold that sword up and like basically rest it up on his shoulder uh also in like final fantasy 10 orin i think was the same way the dude in like the red coat and he would like have his like other arm just kind of like resting like inside his jacket i that's what i visualize in my head when i see those type of stances so it makes me excited like i i think i would definitely love this show when i do get into it so that kind of excites me a bit but as far as like overall i'm not sure where i would put this as far as comparing to the second one still so far the first animation is is my favorite so let's find number four that's gonna be episode 40 it gets introduced introduced nice nice transition oh yeah there we go oh it's different a little offbeat Nice. And there's a lot of characters in it. Okay. So that one was cool. I really like the beginning of it. And, you know, anytime like a song starts off with like a nice, just like a little guitar riff, I always really enjoy the transitions in the beginning to that of that was flawless there's a lot of characters in this show so like again that stuff also excites me again going back you know thinking of final fantasy and all the different party members do different things you know i like that definitely has that feel i don't know if there's people make comparisons to that but yeah i really i really i'm really digging this stuff what was that that was number four Gosh, just still like nine more. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I have this one over two and three. I'm not sure if I would put it over one. Uh, I don't know if the music just sounded quieter in my, you know, in my headset. So like, I think if if it was cranked up more, I would probably definitely put it over one. But it, it seemed like it was missing. It was missing something for me. And it, it just seemed like it didn't hit as hard. So I still I, so I have one, four, probably two, three, uh, three, two. So one, four, three, two. I'm not going to remember my rankings as, as we get further into this. 
All right, so next animation starts. It only covers two episodes. They did so many. And it just only for these two episodes. That is crazy. That's dedication right there. So episode 52. Oh no. Um, I, right now, honestly, I had to put that one at the bottom. The, I'm not sure what it was. The guitar bit was just kind of, I don't know. It felt like it was missing something for me and maybe it was just a little too, not unorthodox. He seemed a bit more wild. I I, did, I wasn't sure when the hit was coming. I wasn't sure what exactly they were going with it. When the when I believe what the chorus picked up, it definitely got better. But overall, I st uh, I would probably put that at the bottom so far. But I, I didn't hate it. You know the the song sound the song sounded good. I I just wouldn't put it you know above any of the the first four. Okay. There we go. Ah. Uh, uh. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I think that's my new number two. It started off really, really good. It started to lose me a little bit during the first verse. But then when it got to the the chorus, it, it brought it all back. Yeah, man, I. Yeah, I, I just wasn't feeling the first verse. But, you know, again, still overall. Great. Solid. I, I would put this as my new number two. Over the fourth, fourth one. Yeah, but still so far overall start to finish. Number one is is still my favorite. So that was number six. And here we go. All right, so that was number, which one was that? That was number seven. I wasn't sure about the opening at first, but then I really got into it. I'm not sure where I would rank that one, to be honest. I I wouldn't say it beats out the my top two, maybe top three. But, uh, you know, it's probably in the middle of the pack right now. So I think I have, I think my order so far goes one. Was it six? Was it the last one? I'm gonna need to go back and oh, so I'll I'll come back. I'll come back at the end and I'll rank. I'll rank the openings. Or I might not. We'll see. We'll see what time we have left at the end of this. Okay. So that was number seven. Next one starts at episode ninety-five. It's a little bit of a jump. I'm super impressed that they have this many openings and, you know, they all all really slap. So props, massive props.
Ah! I, lo I like this part. I, I hate to say that, but right now that's at the bottom of my list so far. If you take out like that middle part, which is funny because like there's not much, there's not really any singing in the in the opening or any of that song. It's just more of the concert. Whoa, whoa. But I, it just, it felt good. Felt right. But like once they started singing in the verse, it felt more like you, it felt less, you know, punk rocky. Or again, like the stuff that I grew up with, and you, it, like you kept kind of the music, but then you kind of threw in more pop sound, and eh, it just it didn't feel right to me. Again, the beginning of it and the end of it sounded really good, but like that middle part of it for me, not so much. So that they had that for what seven episodes. So the next one, so that was number eight. Looks like that song is called Sky and Blue. And this next one is going to be number nine, starts on episode 103, and this is called Right Now. Ah, uh, this is this is gonna be a, my new bottom. Okay, so if you take that song away and compare it itself on its own, I I, I think it was a good song. But then when you take that song and put it with all the other ones, especially you know the first call it the first half of it, it just doesn't fit to me like it, it reminds me of i went to a concert some years ago and the first band some of you guys might know these bands uh the first band was called a band called mastodon they uh you know very very hard and the headliners of that was slipknot and i feel like everyone probably knows slipknot also on the same level, you know, blah, blah, blah. but the the middle band that performed and I said it was three bands. So Mastodon, Slipknot, similar type music. But the second band was Coheed and Cambria. And some of you might know that band name. Uh, I feel like they really, really got popular. I'm not sure if it was Rock Band or Guitar Hero. Welcome Home was a song, very popular song and was definitely one of my favorites to play. Again, it was either Guitar Hero or Rock Band. Great band. Sounds really good, but totally different from Slipknot and Mastodon. So like when you had that that energy in the beginning, then you go to that. Like I almost started to fall asleep just because it just did not fit. I do like the band and I listened to the music, but I was there for a certain type of energy. It was set up with the first and then, you know, they got up there and it was just it was tiring and then Slipknot came in and it just brought that energy back. And that, that's what I feel here. Take it alone and is, as it's standalone, solid, great. But you lump it in with the, all the other stuff that we've been listening to and it just doesn't fit. It seems out of place and it just it looks bad. When you throw it in again, separate, great. Lumped into the rest of it. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel like it belongs. It feels very out of place to me. My opinion. Let me let me know what y'all think in the comments. So that was number nine right now. Next one is called Black Catcher. And this starts on episode 116. Piano start. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. This moment right here.
Okay. So love the piano opening. Yeah, I really like that. The next part of it, it started to lose it a little bit for me, then really start back when I said like, oh, yeah, like that was like your visual. Like, remember this moment. This is where it like really gets like gets me back into it. I love the just the little piano bit like da, 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 da. I'm not sure where, you know, still above the last one. So above number nine. It was above number nine for sure. It, it does seem a little bit out of place, not as much as the opening number nine right now, but just not too much closer to it. It might be because of the piano, but, you know, I I enjoy me some piano. It, it did sound good. Song on its own. Great. Sound really good. And, you know, the chorus, I believe it's the chorus, but it starts to get back get me back into it for sure and we're almost done it feels like it feels like we just started this we're go- we're almost done i i thought it was gonna feel like longer but no we're we're still kicking we're still going okay so next song is called stories it is opening number 11 and it starts off on episode 129 there it is And here we go. Ooh. I'm sad I didn't get to see the fist bump. Ah, so the opening was good. It was really good. I really liked the opening of that song. And then. It's just slowed down so much for me. It just like I it was hard to bring it back for me. It did get better, but like that that drop. Uh, it just really dropped it for me. I don't know. Like I was expecting something. So like you could tell it was gonna slow down, but it just didn't feel right. I don't I don't know if I put that below. Number nine route. I, I think I do. I think that just hurt me too much. It again on its own. I think. Ah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. I was just like, oh, uh, I, I, I miss like, you know, the first half. The first half was just so good. And then it, they, they were definitely changing it up. It feels a bit more poppy, less rocky. And then if there is rocky rock stuff in it, uh, it, it, it's just bits and pieces. It's not throughout the whole song, which. Ah, I kind of need it through the whole song, man. I need it through the whole song. So that was stories number 11. Next one. I'm not I don't even know how to say that name. Ian Ni Hikari. Apologize if I butchered that. That starts on episode 141. Here we go. So Okay. So the piece in itself is actually one of my favorites. I'll tell you all why. It yeah. I mean, I I'll admit, like I listened to like NSYNC, Bash Street Boys a lot growing up too. And you know, it, it, I don't I don't know if the if there's like if this is like a boy band thing and I like the music it in it that song by itself I I really liked I really enjoyed one of my favorites 
again, mixed, but going back, mixing it in with everything else, it, it is like the complete opposite of what else we've been listening to. So if I had to rank everything individually, you know, like I had a if I if I were to listen to this a different day and say, hey, Jimmy, listen to this, what do you think? Amazing. But you if you have me listen to this with everything else we just listened to, it it's in a weird spot. Like I can't put it anywhere near the top. It's just because again, it just doesn't fit with the vibes of you know these openings. It might fit with what's whatever's going on in the show at this time. And you can kind of tell a little bit with some of the animations they're showing seemed a bit more like uplifting, hopeful type, but it, it, it doesn't fit with, you know, all the other openings as a whole. So that was. That was number 12. So this next one is the last one. This is Grandeur. Ah, oh, that was gonna keep going. I, I mean, same thing. There's a very apparent trend of like the first half you know how hard it slaps versus it being a bit more poppy and it's almost like almost exactly half right really fun really fun song to listen to it didn't feel like there was as much animation though into the song with the transitions there was a lot more of just like you know listing off the director producer and all that stuff uh it feels like it's they they definitely change up the style of it from, you know, the first half to the second half that I'm noticing. Again, a bit more poppy, a bit more boy band vibe-ish to me, I guess. And yeah, I'm not sure where I would rank these. I, I think I can, what I can definitely say is the second half of the songs don't crack into the top half. So I think the first half, like the furthest song I'll go is like, was it number seven? Or number eight? No, it wasn't number eight. Number eight was Sky and Blue. So like the first seven definitely is like in the top seven. And then the rest of it is in, you know, the bottom six. Yeah, that that's probably where I would put it. I'll leave I'll leave in the comment section where I would rank everything. I'm going to go back and do you know do the editing on all this and then I'll post in the comment section my official rankings uh, cuz I definitely don't want to, you know, talk through it all what's going through my mind right now. But awesome. I loved it. Again, I, there wasn't a song in there I didn't like. It was just a clear difference between like you know the first six or seven song versus like the last half not sure you know why the change maybe it it switches up more because of where the direction of the show is going or the manga or if it was just you know they they change it up but again overall solid i definitely am putting this show onto my list i'm convinced i want to watch it and i'm convinced i'll probably love it i just love the fantasy type stuff again felt very final fantasy vibe ish looking at all the characters in it there's a bunch of characters in it, it looks like it all had different abilities different things so that in alone definitely is gonna you know make me cover this maybe it'll be sooner maybe it'll move it up sooner rather than later it might beat out a couple other shows that i had in line to watch next but Thank you all for the suggestions. Thank you, those that suggested it. Jay, I think it was you that suggested Black Clover, and then other people chimed in. And then, of course, the overwhelming support for this as well. Let me know your rankings 
in the comments below. And I'm curious to know if we have the same. So I'll, I'll have the rankings for this when this video drops and I'll make sure I'll be the first ones to post and let me know where you guys put these rankings in your own personal thing. And then also let me know which your what song, what openings I should cover next. So I know what, what were the other ones? Uh, Hell Sing, Naruto, OG. Yes, because I didn't watch those openings. Crazy. Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Alchemist Brotherhood. And I know I think someone else suggested something in another comments, but let me know any other nomina nominations you'll have. I might look to do this not weekly, but maybe one a month. So let's just start collecting nominations. Now I'll do like a poll later in the community post later on this month. And I'll look to try and get, you know, get the pump these out, you know, once every month, you know, the first week of the month, if that sounds good with y'all. But yeah, so leave in the comments your your ranking so we can compare and do me a favor and throw in your nominations for what opening opening soundtrack stuff to watch and listen to for me. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Also, if you haven't checked out my Patreon, make sure you go check that out ASAP. We have a lot of good stuff on there. We're a lot further along in our reactions. We are in Shippuden episode 70 something. I think we're starting the training arc. We're starting Shikamaru Shippuden on Patreon. We are in the entertainment district for Demon Slayer. We're also watching Death Note over there as well, in addition to Dragon Ball. And then we have Invincible Season 2 on there. Uh, that should be done. And Avatar The Last Airbender. We have a couple more episodes still to post. I think we're like, we're definitely more than halfway through on that. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you for the next upload. Peace out. <laughs>